<laughs> well, it's true. So no, it's true that you can't define what makes somebody sexy and appealing. But you, but you know, she certainly got it. You know, because <laughs> what? Well, on screen and off screen, she's a delightful person. She's very witty. She can keep up with the boys <laughs> with their intelligence, and um, the really slow boys. Yeah, I can keep up with. Talent <laughs> is the greatest aphrodisiac. Uh, it is, isn't it? Talent is the greatest aphrodisiac. And you know, talent. This is the greatest aphrodisiac. Thank if you. I Cut him out. <laughs> <laughs> I went there when there were just women for two years, and then I went the, my last two years. They introduced, you know, men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did, did that change the curriculum much? <laughs> oh, it it uh, it was a, a good move. Yeah. It right. was a really good mm -hmm. move. Um, to have all that in in house, you know, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> nothing worse than ordering out, is it? <laughs> um. And is it fun to play somebody who can have that much fury? Because as a normal mom, you can't walk around being that mad all the time. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, this is a great relief uh, for me. Oh, yes. I was so nice at home after the day of doing that, you know. They just didn't recognize me. I didn't, I didn't prepare at all, frankly. Really? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe one bit of it. I, I didn't, I mean, I guess I did. It, Where did that aggravated do? I'm always from. aggravated, and I get worse as I get older. I get madder and madder about everything, but, um, you know, it's uh, easy to go there. What it isn't, what it isn't easy to do is, is um, stay there. Mm -hmm. So what was hard for me in this part was maintaining that fury. You know, after two weeks, I'd gotten it out of my system, and I was ready to... You know, have everybody like me on the set, uh -huh. and nobody did. <laughs> and, um, that was hard for me. Well, I play Mrs. George Clooney. That's which pretty is, hot. Isn't it? Hey, I didn't get asked to do anything like that often, and uh, it was it was really fun. It was sort of like um, recording a, a musical piece almost, because Wes is so specific about the nuance of the the sound of it. And he, he feels like the, the sound calls up a whole set of expressions. And since the animatronics are so uh, limited in what they can express, it all had to be in our voices. And he was very clear about that. Was it one of those uh, kind of like hippie deals? Was yeah. It, <laughs> it was a little bit of a hippie kind hippie of a thing. Of thing. And, and, and was it like a, one of those free love kind of things? You know, when you think of the... <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> now, maybe. you always had to pay. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, right. No, it was... It was uh, <laughs> now, let's... Was, um, uh, yeah. let's um, uh, the film opens on <laughs> Friday. But I think I've taken inspiration from the actors that I've seen. Even... I, I still do. I, I steal from actors that I performances that I see. I think, hmm, that was a very good choice in that moment. Where could I use that? <laughs> uh, it's better to steal from men because they never know it. Um. <laughs> very early on in doubt, I, I forget my lines a lot. And then they're not so afraid of me anymore. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I envied uh, Jessica Lang when she got Sweet Dreams, the story of Patsy Cline. Maybe you didn't see this movie, but oh my God, that was such a great movie. She, she was beyond wonderful in it, so. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've uh, wished for things that I haven't had, but I have to say, my blessings are pretty great, so I have no complaints. Um, and I'm not always happy. I'm happy, you know, in front of the press. <laughs> I'm extremely grumpy, ask my husband, <laughs> normally. Um, um, yeah. I looked at it as an opportunity, sort of a real chance to cut loose and go nuts. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> Oh, 
God. I kind of don't know what to say. Why would you put that? Oh my God! Oh, well, I read that scene once. And um, I never read it again. Really? In those days, I used to remember my lines very well. I, I did. I had that kind of photographic memory. Mm -hmm. I don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that goes with childbearing. But I... <laughs> I, um, I, I couldn't read that thing. I, it was like engraved in my mind, you know? I didn't have to study it or anything. Ugh. And so you just and, did it. Yeah, and when it was over, I was glad it was over. Mm -hmm. But I had put it out of my mind until we came to the day to shoot it, or the night. I'm very humbled about, by, by this experience of going around the world. I was in Xi'an, China, and people recognized me and said, Crime of us are crime. Crime of us is crime. <laughs> and, <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe it. This is such an old movie. And this, I was just there so recently, but it had, it had reached people there. Amazing. Amazing. Very hard to process. Intellectually, but, but in my heart, it makes me feel great. <laughs> Tell me, this is a benefit tonight for a charity that you're involved in. What's the name of that charity and what does it do? George Whipple, I love you for asking oh, that. You hear that, girls? I really I got a do. Hottie in love with me. <laughs> Partners in health. If you're making that movie, Steve and I had to eat all these croissants, oh, the chocolate we did. croissants. We ate a lot of croissants. He had a spit bucket. I yeah. didn't have one, but which is sexy. It's a sexy yeah. thing. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Now we're gonna kiss the, the wrap up for the next yeah. scene. I love it. Let me spit that I guacamole. Rinse, rinse, Steve, rinse. <laughs> Let me spit that guacamole burger into that bucket, and then we'll do a love scene. Isn't it extraordinarily good though when you work with somebody who's as good as Diane Keaton, who gives it back to you, gives it back to you? She's my sister, really. I never had a sister, really, and I got to. You say I picked which part, but what I got to do was I got to pick my sister. Oh, you know, that's wonderful. And she's unbelievable. Well, thank you, but I'm appalled that your mother let you see the deer hunter when you were a little boy. <laughs>